Okay, no one's ever seen this before, ever. Underneath the uh, pool of uh, ferrofluid, you actually have two rings of light. Now there is a three-quarter inch neodymium sphere that is hanging merely by being attracted to the ferrofluid mixture in the base. And if you could actually see, there we go, I got better contrast. You can actually see the inner ring. There's actually a ring of light at the center, at the centripetal point, which is also the entry to the plane of inertia. And then there's another ring of light around the circumference. It actually is light. It is not a reflection off the top of the sphere. Here in a second, I'll actually show you the sphere hanging from the base. There's no attachment other than the magnetic acceleration to the ferrofluid. So I have a magnetic sphere, neodymium, hanging from this glass sphere. A ring of LEDs that are barely peaking around the ferrofluid mixture. See, I'll even jiggle it a little bit. You could see the fluid. Can you see that? No one's ever seen this before. Ever. I can assure you of that one. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I actually have a ring of light forming. Now, let me zoom out and I will show you what's going on here. Actually, let me turn the light on really quickly see no trickery involved you can even still see the ring of light in the base let me raise it see that's the LED underneath but look it's not being held by anything <laughs> pull it off the base but let me set it in underneath here even with the light on you could actually still see it let me get a better <laughs> Now, importantly, the only thing that is touching the bottom of this glass sphere, which is the neodymium sphere, is a microscopic point. So if you think that the sphere underneath is impressing on either the sphere or the ferrofluid, obviously it cannot because... Let me if I could zoom in here. You can see that it is hanging on by a super microscopic little point. You can see that? If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Let me zoom in again. I think you've seen enough though, right? It's hard zooming in through the sphere. There we go. Need to turn the lights off again. Right now it wants to focus on the outside of the sphere. I'm only using an iPhone for this. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.